episode of Crazy Time Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with me. TNT Dynamite the Explosive One. Jonas, I'm the man on the stick. There you go. And we're playing uh, Monster Hunter World here. Uh, yeah, it's the biggest world of monsters That's, I've ever seen. Yeah, you've never seen a world of monsters quite like this. I changed the outfit up again because Jonas says I don't look like a superhero. How about now, Jonas? Nope. I got hearts on my kneecaps. Oh, okay. Never mind. Take that back. <laughs> yeah. All right. Change You're a superhero. Change you look like Snow Girl. Jonas, if you could be a superhero, what would your power be? Mm. Mm. By the way, this is a superhero series where I go into lower ranked games, and I help people out. Is, who this, are... uh, is this where I start asking you questions about how it depends what I'm going to You know, it all depends on. <laughs> it would. No, it, this no, is I, the I'm point where to, you no. would usually um, ask that. How many superpowers do I get? You what? get one superpower. Just one? Dude. That's yeah, it? We already dude. talked about this. Well, we're talking about it again. Right, maybe my view has changed. Yeah, exactly. God, dude, which one do I pick? You get one superpower. And it can't be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you already got the monopoly on that one. Oh, burn. Um, Sick burn. I think mind control. Mind control, Jonas. Yeah. That is that is a super villain power. Then I'd be a super villain. <laughs> well, god dang. All right, fair enough. <laughs> Definitely going to start putting a lock on my door. <laughs> Why, what would you pick? Uh, I don't know. Probably like... Uh, <coughs> He's just like sitting all pretty waiting for you. Isn't he adorable, dude? Aw, <laughs> oh, so pretty. All right, let's uh, bash him in the head. <laughs> He's like, I'm just sitting here. <laughs> my he own was, business. dude, until I came over and bashed him in the nugget. Uh, I don't know what my I don't know, Jonas. See, this wasn't I wasn't really ready to answer the question. You always ask questions that you want me to answer that you don't have an answer to. Yeah, well, that's fine. I mean, I mean it is. I'm allowed to do that. You're hundred percent allowed to do whatever you want. I guess maybe immortality. I have to I keep always going back to just being immortal. Or maybe like being able to like immortality to the point where like I heal all the time. Like So I like just, even if you get injured, you're like regenerative? Immortality and vulnerability, but I feel like those are two different things. Yeah, well, because I feel like if you were immortal, but like someone cut your leg off, that would suck then for the rest of your life. You like you could be like a superhero with like one leg. So maybe, okay. So here's my thing. When I think of uh, like having like a healing ability, like just I heal through everything super fast, and like you cut me, and I like within two seconds I'm healed up from the cut. Right, right, right. Then I start thinking like, well, then I'm immune to aging. Because, right, isn't aging just like, uh, you know... Injury like, and breakdown of cells. Yeah, it's a breakdown yeah. of the cells. So if my cells don't degenerate, then what, don't I live forever? But I understand that it's, you know, it's it's kind of asking for two superpowers at once. But I get, I get it, though. You're right. Because, like, because I feel if we did have the ability to heal ourselves 100%, we would just... We, our, our body would be so healthy that we could yeah, live forever. I'd just constantly be, like, in the body of, like, an, an 18-year-old. At my peak, or 22 year old or something. Right, yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever that would be. Yeah, because, like, your body would hit its peak physical condition, and then you would never change, because you would just yes. heal to that. In fact, they're, they're, yeah, forever in my peak physical condition, there's my superpower. <laughs> I'm not super strong. I'm not You're just special. just like a normal guy who's just always, like, as fit as can be forever. Yeah, dude, that'd be great, dude. I, I never die. I guess that'd be cool. Never dying is awesome. Cause, yeah. Because then I would just, like, I could be a superhero. Like, I could just, like, take bullets, and then I could just be like, no, nah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Like, and then, like, it would just be a, uh, you would be a very emotionally, like, mm -hmm. avoid person. Mm -hmm. Because after you've been alive for, like, a thousand years and you've watched hundreds of your closest friends die. I don't care about them. <laughs> so I said basically you would be emotionally devoid. Exactly. Well, see, I'm already there. So. Oh, it, well, that's where I was going with the joke, but you uh, already. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I figured you were going to go. Well, I already feel. <laughs> okay, yeah, thanks. Yeah, haha. -ha. Get right. it, guys? It was funny. <laughs> no, I, I stepped on Jonas's bit. All right. Well, no, you kind of like walked right into it. All right, yeah. fair enough. Well, you I helped mean, Jonas's bit. I don't know where I was going, but. It's fine. Either way, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm, I've, I've considered the whole, you know, when you're immortal that you are a piece of crap, dude. Stop flying. I already figured the fact of, like, when you're immortal, you got to see, like, oh, I got to see my family pass away. And, and it's not that I don't care about my family, but look, man, I can get more family. Yeah, well, yeah, it's like, well, you would, like, it, it would, like, but I think, like, if you had that ability, like, every person you started to befriend 
you would like just hold them in a you would just you would just be like, well, you're only gonna be here for a minute. I mean, that's kind of true about how life is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's just a weird way. It's not even a weird way. It's like the most realist way to think about it. Okay, single serving friends, dude. That's what they yeah. call them. I used to like, yeah, I used to like think about like, um, you know, oh man, like eventually, like. It would be like, oh, I don't want this person to, like... It would be upset if someone, like, you didn't hang out with your friends anymore. But then I'm like, every person in your life goes away. Whether it's by, like, argument, death, something Ooh. else. Ooh. Every person in your life goes away. Jonah, you sound like some real jaded... But it's facts, man. though, dude! Like It is facts, man. Every but... relationship is going to end, but whether you, you for know, some reason or another. You know... Damn well that the kids watching this video right now are like, yeah, I'm gonna have the same friends forever, dude. We go to school together and <laughs> we yep. hang out every weekend, dude. I'm never gonna give up on Tim. He's a good guy. Tim is an awesome guy, and I'm sure you just and Tim. Don't be, uh, just don't be upset at Tim when life gets in the way. Yeah, when Tim F's your girlfriend, just don't be <laughs> wow. surprised. I'm just saying, dude. I, I meant when he gets a career and a family and can't hang out anymore. No. Oh, yeah. Too bad that family is your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, too bad your ex-wife. <laughs> right? <laughs> and your stepkids. <laughs> Have you ever had a friend after girlfriend? Joe? No, I haven't. No, you've not never? that I know of. Anyway, I mean, maybe. Or like half an ex of yours? Uh, I don't think so. A lot of times, like the girls that I dated—well, any girl that I dated for like an extended period of time was always a girl that was like outside of my friend circle. Okay. So maybe someone would have maybe afterwards, but I was, like yeah. I was gonna say in Astro Bueller, there's not a whole lot of uh, there's not a whole lot of <laughs> whole lot of uh, but people I did, there. I didn't so. like long term date a lot of girls from Astro Bueller anyway. No. Like it was like any like it was I didn't like ha you know I didn't have a uh, a lot of like uh, I mean, a lot of what a lot of times the people like I would see wouldn't be like a long term thing. It seemed like a, I mean, I don't want to say, like, I, I'm trying to think of how to put this without sounding crap, but when there's not a lot of people in the area, then it just seems like there's a lot of intermingling. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lack of opportunity. Like, it, you know what I mean? It's like, mm -hmm. yeah. It's like, like, when you live in a small town, there's only so many people. Yes, like, I know, like, just for myself, I know at least the four different guys that were with one girl. But it was because we were, you know, we were all friends, we were all in the same area, and I don't know, there's this lack of opportunity, I guess? Yeah, dude, well, like, if we would have grown up in New York City, it would have been very unlikely that any of us would have, like, slept with anyone else's girlfriends, because, like, there's so many people, you yeah, know? Yeah. I mean, it still happens because people hang out together and then they decide that they want to do it. Yeah, and like interest. Yeah, exactly. When, when you're all into heroin. And, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and you're all high all the time. Like, I mean. Yeah, like, dude. Like, I mean, it's hard to find somebody that's as deep into heroin as you, frankly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you. Heroin, heroin tender is not as big as you would think. <laughs> heroin tender. <laughs> They call it Needler. <laughs> Plenty of meth. Yeah. All right, that one. Now, hey, hey, look, I don't care. I think that was a banger joke. <laughs> I don't meth? care what you say. About the heroin tinder? No, about plenty of meth. Well, plenty of meth. Oh, plenty of fish. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, it took me a minute, but it was a right. I don't, yeah, It's fine, dude. I mean, there is plenty of that in our hometown. Exactly. But yeah, dude, uh, no, I don't think so. Like, uh, so do you know anybody that ever asked your girlfriend? I definitely do. Know people to f my girlfriend or your ex girlfriend or a girl that you were seeing? Uh, well, I mean, I know one because like they ended up like after we were together, they ended up having kids and stuff. Wow, is that like is that? See, I'm trying to think if that ever happened to me, and it has. I don't know if that's the worst or the best. Well, they definitely weren't trying to have kids. I was, was definitely it was an accident. So yeah, is that the worst or is that the best? Um, I don't know if it's either. It just proves that like people are dumb and do wish they shouldn't do. Like, no. like when I when I had sex with her, we wore a condom, so we didn't have children, and then they didn't and had kids right away almost. I mean, but looking back, do you feel like you dodged a bullet a little bit? 
Oh, like I would like. Um, like a little I bit. didn't want to have kids. There. I'm not a fan of kids. I'm saying with a girl. Dude. Oh, oh, uh, that I didn't accidentally have a kid with her. <laughs> I don't get what you're asking. Did I dodge a bullet that I didn't I mean, did you embrace? dodge a bullet? Look, all right. It's very clear that these girls, or some of these girls that we, we chose at an early age are not the ones that we should be... Uh, trying to marry? Exactly. So do you feel like by her doing something of that nature and uh, completely eliminating any chance in the future... Put bombs on this guy. He's asleep. You see him, Jones? Yeah, dude. He's putting bombs on him. Do you feel like you know you kind of dodged a bullet? Like I look back and I'm like, oh man. So that girl, me and her broke up, and then she went and had a kid like a month later. And you know, I'm not gonna lie, I was just kind of like, it's a little bit of a turnoff after all. <laughs> if like a month later, you know, you, you've gotten impregnated, and then I'm like, eh, well, you know, kind of dodged a bullet there, I guess. Yeah. You wasn't the one. Yeah, I could. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, I guess so. She wasn't I mean, the one. I don't think that girl, I don't think she turned out all that bad. It's just like she ended up having like a bunch of kids and like. Oh, so you would marry her? No, no I don't think I'm ever going to marry anybody again. <laughs> man, <laughs> tell you, some of us, it takes one time, man. Hey, man, we got we to gotta walk down a path before we realize it's not the path we want to walk down. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know, man. I just yeah I guess I guess I guess you could say yes dodge the bullet but who's to say that like you know I mean like we wouldn't have tried to have babies but like yeah I mean guess I could uh, accidentally yeah Jones you should try to have a baby no you don't even know you don't even have one how would you know if you don't want it I had, like, I had like, step kids for a while and they were that fine. doesn't count I mean, I was still raising children. They were just teenagers. And then you enjoy that? It was all right, yeah. I did not enjoy it. All right. So then what are I you talking like, about? Okay, hot take. I don't like babies. <laughs> you don't even know. You never like had a baby. Around them, I'm like, oh, I don't want this. Look, I'm going to tell like, you I right now. I dogs and know I don't want a dog. I'm going to tell you right now, Jonah. You don't hang out with dogs. When was the last time you hung out with a goddamn dog? Never. Never, even, anyways, never even what, seen a dog. What, what were you, you're right. I've never seen one. <laughs> what were you gonna say? I was gonna say here's here's my take, Jonas. I have been adamant about my disdain for children. Right. I started hanging out with this kid, dude, and I'm like, you know what? They ain't that bad. <laughs> Kids are not terrible. I have a different, but you know, it's funny. It's like just like every other parent, I feel like, well, yeah. But, this kid isn't bad, but all other ones can go to hell. It's like, well, right. it's and like that's a how it is with animals too. Like, you could get a really good dog, yeah. you could have a really awful dog. You could have a really good kid, you could have a really awful kid. I don't know. I feel like dogs are pretty much just like pure, but not kids, dude. But no, but some dogs like bark all the time, or like you can you can't no. get, like you know you know some dogs can be trained, some dogs really can't be trained. They won't like listen, you know. That's true. Same thing with like cats. Some cats are good. Some cats like get into everything and I, like. I take I don't like Couchman Peace dog. Not a fan. <laughs> Not a fan, dude. He's got a big head. It's intimidating. <laughs> And, uh, He's got a big head. He does. He, I don't he like. He has a very big head. I don't like big head dogs, dude. Give me a small head, dog. That dog does have a really big head. Dude, it's scary. I want to see your scary, scary dog head. I'm just saying, dude. I know he might be harmless, but yeah, tell that to your arm that he bit. You know, that's all I'm saying, Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> gonna bite you dude. there's a good chance he might bite me i'm not i'm good i don't hang around questionable animals <laughs> or kids or people yeah questionable kids huh yeah. gonna cut you when you're not looking you can't tell man <laughs> that's right. all that we have for this episode please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that look up how to yodel and leave an audio link in the comments but for jonas and tnt we'll catch you on the next one we are out uh...